Morning lads, how you doing? Welcome back to Maggie TV. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic morning and I hope you have a brilliant afternoon, evening, night. I hope today is going to be a good day for Chelsea. I hope today is going to be a good day for Thomas Tuchel and the boys. We didn't have a trophy last season. Chelsea Football Club likes their trophies. And last season, we didn't get a trophy. Before that, we had the Europa Cup. Before that, we had the FA Cup. And before that, we had the Premier League. But since last season, we've had a balanced spell and Thomas Tuchel hopefully can change that today by winning the FA Cup. Lads, this is my match preview for Chelsea versus Leicester City and the Emirates FA Cup. Before I get into my preview, I want to ask you to do me a favor, and that is to subscribe to Baggy TV. Turn that bell notification button on. Give this video a like. I would very much appreciate you giving this video a like. Anyway, let's jump into this video. Now lads, yesterday I previewed this match live with you lads, with you fans uh, on my channel. But for those of you that didn't get that, and for those of you that don't have time to watch a two hour live stream, I've given you this match preview video. But if you do want to watch that live stream, there is a link up here to, uh, to that. And I also had a guest on yesterday from Leicester City Fan TV, Jack, a great lad. So, you know, go check out that video. And if you do enjoy it, give it a like. Last, this game is crucial not only because it's the FA Cup, it's crucial because we only have three days rest before we meet Leicester City again in the Premier League. In the Champions League qualification match. <laughs> Because top four is at stake here. Now, Thomas Tuchel has said, lads, no parties tonight. If we were to beat Leicester tonight, you are not allowed to celebrate. You're going to have to hold off on celebrating until later on because you only have three days before you're back in against Leicester in the Premier League. We'll play Leicester on Tuesday, lads. So Leicester, Saturday, Leicester, Tuesday. Both games are cup finals for different reasons. Now, I have made my predicted lineup for this game. This isn't who I would pick, lads. This isn't who I would play in the FA Cup final. But this is who I think Tuchel will be starting with today. Now, this is the lineup. In goal, we're going to have Kepa Ariza Balaga, and that's already been confirmed by Tuchel. He is our cup, he is our FA Cup goalkeeper. So Kepa Ariza Balaga in goal, with Aspil Equator on the right, Rudiger on the left and Thiago Silva in the center. Now, there's talk that Christensen is fit, but I don't think he'll be starting today. If he's fit, I think he may be on the bench, but I don't think he'll be starting. And I think Zuma um, is not really up to speed right now. I would love to see Rudiger playing, and I think Rudiger was rested for this game. So Rudiger on the left, Asby on the right, and Thiago Silva down the center. Okay, now in the left wing back position, I think it will be Ben Chilwell. Yeah, Ben Chilwell to play against his former club. Ben Chilwell to beat his former club. To kind of, I don't know, undo what happened in January. So he wants to he wants to beat Leicester. And I think beating Leicester in the FA Cup final is a good way to do that. And I think, you know, Ben Chilwell does have what it takes in regards to knowledge and know-how in respect to the opposition. So Ben Chilwell to start on the left wing back. Now in right wing back, I think it will be Reese James, uh, purely for the fact that he is the best right wing back that we have in the club. I don't think we will be risking uh, Callum. Uh, and, and you know what, lads, whenever I think we're not going to be doing something, it normally is what Tuchel does. So it, it don't be surprised to see Callum starting, but I think it will be Rhys James as the right wing back. Okay, now in the heart of midfield, I think we're going to be starting Kante and Jorginho. Kovacic is fit, but he's not 100%. I think Kovacic will be probably brought on as an impact sub, should we need him. Um, we have a lot of fixtures coming up, a lot of important fixtures coming up, and Kovacic just recovered from an injury to be brought in as, the, uh, as a starter in an FA Cup final. Might not be a wise thing to do, but I think Kovacic coming on off the bench is definitely something doable. So Jorginho and Kante start for me in the heart of the midfield. Now, just ahead of them, I'm going with Ziyech and Werner. Yeah, you're saying, where is Mason Mount? I know. It was a hard decision to make by Tuchel. This isn't my starting lineup. This is Tuchel's starting lineup, right? What I think he's going to go with. Now, Ziyech and Werner have proven to be really, really good uh, together. 
I think uh, playing playing these two lads, we, we got goals in them. They got goals in them. We're gonna see some, we're gonna we're gonna see some something happen with these two lads. And I think ahead of them, you know, it was a toss up for me between Olivier Giroud and Kai Havertz. Olivier Giroud is a great striker and is, is a striker that I would love to see playing in the FA Cup final. But I think Tuchel will go with Kai Havertz purely for the fact that he can offer a lot more in regards to possession, uh, technique, and just, uh, you know, um, an all-rounder in regards to the attack. You know, with having Havertz up there, you're going to see him switching with Werner, Werner and Havertz switching, maybe even Ziyech switching with them. But if you had Giroud, then they, that switch can't really happen. So I think Havertz will be the one starting, but I wouldn't be surprised to see Olivier Giroud. In fact, I would love to see Olivier Giroud starting. Now, lads, that is the predicted lineup that I think Tuchel is going to go with. In the comments below, let me know what you would go with. Who would you change? Would you go with this? Would you, would, would you have someone else uh, in there for, for any various positions? Let me know down below. Lads, my predicted scoreline. Yeah. You know what? I think we're going to score a couple of goals. And I think we're going to concede. I think we're going to concede. Um, I would love to see Kepa have another clean sheet. I know he has it in him, but at FA Cup final, you know, it's normally a very, very fast paced game with a lot of aggression and whatnot. And maybe, you know, maybe a cross and a header and we go down by a goal and then we come back scoring two. So 2 1 is what I predict. 2 1 lads is my predicted scoreline. You know, I would like it to be 2 0. I would like to have a clean sheet and make it a little bit more easier on the nerves. But I have a feeling it's going to be 2-1. In the, in the comments below, let me know if you think uh, it's going to be 2-1 or if you think it's going to be a different scoreline. So you predict the scoreline, lads, in the comments below. Listen, lads, a massive day. A massive day. Uh, I'm really excited and I apologize that I'm not going to be able to stream tonight. Um, and because I'm not going to be able to stream tonight, I thought I'd give you this video this morning. Um, but I will be watching the, uh, the game on my phone and I will be you know, cheering the lads on. And I want you all to be doing the same. And for those of you who can make it to the stadium tonight, you're lucky. Enjoy the atmosphere. Soak it in. And you know what? We're going to be enjoying the atmosphere through you on our TV screens and, and, and on our mobile phones and you know other devices. So uh, for those of you who are going to be in the stands, make some noise. Let people know what the Chelsea fans are all about. Support our boys. Support our team. Best of luck to Chelsea. Best of luck to Tuchel. First trophy. You know, first trophy for a lot of these lads. First senior trophy for a lot of these lads. So big up the blues, keep the blue flag flying high, and let's do this. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace out.